the 1st of April last year, I uploaded a video about a country that most of you probably don't want to move to. This year as well, I don't want to miss the opportunity to upload a special kind of video. So yes, even Mars now is part of my Moving Abroad series. So let's get into our spacesuits and join me on a galactic journey to our neighboring planet that one day might even become our second home. At first glimpse, Mars seems to offer a lot of opportunities that support a long-term residence of astronauts on Mars. Its days last about 24 and a half hours, liquid water can be found below its surface, and even spring-like temperatures of about 20 degrees Celsius are just a few exciting properties of this planet. But this small radioactive, poisonous, dusty planet that lacks energy also has some downsides that have to be considered. Counted from the Sun, Mars is the fourth planet in the solar system and belongs to the Earth-like planets. So it has a solid surface, is formed into a sphere by its own gravity and essentially consists of rock. Mars is significantly smaller than planet Earth. With a diameter of about 6800 kilometers, it has about one seventh the volume of Earth. But in spite of being the second smallest planet in the solar system, Mars is home to the largest volcanoes in the entire solar system. But we will get into that in a moment. And interestingly, the surface area of Mars is almost as large as the surface area of all countries on Earth combined. Moreover, Mars has two moons, Phobos and Deimos, which translates from Greek as fear and scare. But before we take a closer look at the up and downsides of moving to Mars, we will take a quick look at the red planet's flag. The flag of Mars contains three equal vertical stripes. It was created by the Mars Society, which is a non-profit organization dedicated to the exploration and colonization of the planet. The idea behind the flag is to symbolically represent Mars at its current state and its transition to a terraformed planet. The red bar represents Mars as it is now, a red desert-like planet. The green bar represents Mars during a hypothetical future terraforming and the blue bar represents Mars after a completed terraforming into a blue planet. Of course, this is not an official flag of Mars, as there is no institution that has authority over Mars. According to the Outer Space Treaty, which practically all countries signed, no state is allowed to claim planets for itself or use them for its military. This video is part of a video series that is all about moving abroad. You can find the link below in the video description. But let's return to Mars. What are the upsides of moving to Mars and what needs to be considered? Mars may be a dusty, dry and desolate planet, but you can still find unique natural wonders here. On Mars you can experience epic weather events, such as gigantic dust storms with heavy thunderstorms and lightning. As mentioned, Mars is also home to the highest volcano in the entire solar system. Olympus Mons has a height of 22 kilometers and is therefore almost three times as high as Mount Everest. With a diameter of 600 kilometers, it could cover the entire distance from Zurich to Vienna or the entire distance from Berlin to Vienna or could cover almost all of France. The two hemispheres of Mars are very different. The southern hemisphere is 2 to 3 kilometers above the average elevation of Mars. There one can find many craters and also many shield volcanoes. This is contrasted by the geologically young, almost crater-free northern lowlands of the planet. It lies 3 to 5 kilometers below the average height and has lost its original structure through unexplained geological processes. It may have been triggered by a collision in the early days of the planet. Otherwise, the planet's surface is dusty, sandy and characterized by rocks, stones and sand dunes. There is also a massive rift system on Mars. 
The Mariner Valleys are the largest rift system in the entire solar system and are not only about 4000 km long, but also 700 km wide and up to 7 km deep. One has to imagine that this rift system could cover all of Europe and with craters almost as deep as Mount Everest. There is also a smiley face shaped crater on Mars called Gull. The so-called Martian face which resembles a face looking into space, was also discovered on Mars in 1976. Pyramid-like structures have also been discovered, but all of these structures were not created by intelligent creatures, because they are all products of natural erosion. And this is what a sunset on Mars looks like. So all those of you who have already packed their bags and have withdrawn their last savings for the flight must listen carefully to the following downsides of moving to Mars. Even though temperatures near the equator reach up to 20 degrees Celsius during the day, they can drop to about negative 85 degrees Celsius at night. The mean temperature of the planet is around negative 63 degrees, which is not so convenient. Cosmic radiation is also a problem. The very thin atmosphere of Mars does not protect well enough against radiation, which is why human-made bases would have to be built underground. Radiation exposure is also greatly increased by solar winds. This radiation is very dangerous for living beings because it can destroy DNA and cause cancer. Tackling this problem is only possible by constant isolation. Another problem is the toxic surface on Mars. Percolates ensure that even certain types of bacteria that are known to be able to survive in space die after just a few minutes on Mars. The fine dust of Mars is another challenge. The smallest particles of dust, measuring less than 3 micrometers in diameter, are constantly circulating in Mars' atmosphere. They even pose a challenge to Mars robots, as they jam the gears and attach themselves to certain parts of the robots due to their electrical charge. Energy is required to live on Mars in the long term, but sadly it cannot be obtained so easily. Solar collectors are not as effective due to dust storms and the greater distance to the sun, the atmosphere is too thin for wind turbines, and the ground is too cold for geothermal energy. Therefore, we would probably need to make use of nuclear energy, which comes with new challenges such as transporting such a reactor to Mars. Gravity is 62% lower than on Earth. This leads to muscle loss, bone weakening and cardiovascular problems over time. And another challenge is the great distance between Mars and Earth. About every 26 months, Mars and Earth are close enough for travel. And a journey takes about 7 months. In case you need something from Earth after moving to Mars, let it be nuclear fuel, spare parts or anything else, they can only be sent every 26 months. Otherwise, the distance between Mars and Earth is just too great. So there are many challenges that still need to be solved to make it possible to move to Mars. But with science and technology evolving, we can solve these problems and hopefully become a true interplanetary species.